In 1999, Nigeria launched the Universal Basic Education Policy. This policy focuses on the first nine years of basic schooling and has been adopted by most states in the country. This is believed to have put the country on the track towards achieving not just the goal of universal primary education by 2015, but also junior secondary and indeed some level of tertiary. Today, in Nigeria, about 90% of children enroll for primary education, but this figure drops as only around 70% stay in school to the fifth grade. This has meant a huge task ahead of the government, MDG's office and other stakeholders in the country's education sector. We have made a, an appreciable progress, though it's not adequate, because as you are aware, our demographic, the demography, it's a, so huge and is largely youth. The constitution of the Nigerian population is largely youth. So we've been addressing, but it's an issue that still requires more effort from government. Yes, consider, that was the, consider, considering that the UB was introduced in 1999, before even the Millennium Declaration in 2000, indicates that the Nigerian government is already interested in ensuring that all children of school-going age actually attend school. At present, the trends in net enrollment at the primary school level has witnessed considerable fluctuation from the year 1990 to 2004, although the country noticed a rise in primary school enrollment to 84.26% in 2005. The enrollment ratio is believed to have increased from 68% in 1990 to 86% in 1994, but fell to 81.1% in 1996. However, the high increase in net enrollment was as a result of government's effective campaign and implementation of the Universal Basic Education Program, which was successfully launched in 1999. The Universal Basic Education Program is government's strategy to fight illiteracy in Nigeria. There's been a lot of success. I mean, first that we have actually put this on the front burner and that it is something that not only do we as a government um, put policies in place and, and implementation strategies, but our partners also um, scale it up and bring more to the notice, the, the finer issues uh, that are sometimes missed um, when we're looking at these things. The literacy level in the country is noticeable and steady, especially among the 15 to 24-year-olds. The literacy rate for this particular age group was 64.1% in 2000, 60.4% in 2002, and 76.2% in 2004. The MDG's office believes that good incentives for teachers and excellent collaborations between the government, stakeholders and various government agencies will not only provide more access to education but make the country's biggest dream come true. For us to have the needed quality of teachers for this country, certainly uh, we have to be sensitive and we have to be interested in the welfare and general condition of teachers in the country. And I keep saying that there's no way you can have quality in a hungry teacher. But at the same time, I've always been saying, with adequate training and retraining, with adequate upgrading of teachers from one academic level to another, will also contribute in ensuring that we produce quality teachers in this country. In Nigeria, experience has shown that poverty is a significant barrier to enrollment when fees and related expenses apply. This has made the removal of all primary education costs a priority in the country and the government believes this will serve as a stepping stone towards achieving this ambitious dream. Today, most of Nigeria's school children can have a sigh of relief. 
They study in a very comfortable environment not like in the past years when most children had to learn to read and write under the shade.